sub another situation. This is a still design problem. The column at the warehouse at fix are fixed at the base and pin connected at the top. About the y-axis, the columns are braced at the mid height. A vibration sa mid height. Sidesway is prevented and effective length factor is 1.0. That is about the y-axis. Okay? Sidesway is prevented. Then along the x-axis, there is no brace. Walang brace along the x-axis at the mid height. Balibo talaga yung length natin. Sideway and inhibited and effective land factor is 1.2. Then yung effective land factor K natin, that is about the X axis or strong axis. Column land given is 6 meters. So given yung properties ng ating um, I, I column no? or wide flange, the area is 8550 square meters. We have the depth, wide flange, flange width. Then thickness, web thickness, mod, uh, modulus of elasticity, inertia about x and y, radius of gyration about x and y, and you have the fy steel yield strength. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng dalawang ano dito statement about the x and y axis? So imagine natin, you have the a column fixed at the base and pin connected at top. Yeah. It is 6 meters long. Column length is 6 meters. About the y-axis, the columns are braced at the mid-height. So, commonly talaga, binibrasan, uh, nilalagyan ng brace sa uh, uh, about the y-axis. And dito yan. Ito yung bracing dyan. Kasi mas madali siyang mag-buckle. mag, mag about the y-axis. Mas ma Kaya sa tinawag na weak axis. Na? Kaya may bracing dito. Yan. Titingnan natin dyan sa cross-section. Ganito siya. By the way, ito lang yung given sa word exam. Okay? So, 255 yung ating depth. Given yan. About the y-axis, the column are braced at mid-height. So, if this is 6 meters, uh, yung bracing niyan is nasa 3 meters length at the base. Same as dito. Okay? Imagine natin kung mag-apply tayo ng actual load P, tingnan natin sa dalawang cases. Buckling about X and buckling about the Y axis. So, ano yung magiging buckling about X? Ganito yung scenario dyan. It will buckle about the X axis in this way. Okay? So, ito yung buckling about the X axis. Pag ganyan. And ito naman yung buckling about the Y axis. Pinipigilan sa mag dito. So, that ito yung ating effective buckling. Okay? So, tingnan natin yung animation chat. Yan. So this is the buckling about the x axis. Binigay yung effective length factor. Along the x axis there is there is no uh, bracing at the mid height dito. So talagang mag magbabuckle siya. Pag ganyan. Okay? Effective length factor is 1.2 k sub x. This is the buckling about the y axis. So at this point napigilan siyang magbuckle totally. Totally, no? Kasi meron bracing dito. So, back siya dito sa gitna. Then, eto naman. Pabalik siya dito sa last portion. So, this is buckling about y-axis. And, binigay dito. Effective blend factor is 1.0. For this problem, mula tong problema. No? Uh, kung hindi yan binigay, uh, dapat magbigay siya ng table or sometimes we need to memorize the, uh, the table. Dalawa kasi yung, uh, dalawang klase yung ating pagkuha ng effective land factor. Anyway, focus muna tayo dito sa problem na to. Part 1, for the actual compressive stress. Uh, so, for the actual compressive stress. Yan yung term niya, stress. FA. Dapat tawag dyan, stress. Allowable. No? F sub A capital. That would be permitted uh, if the actual force does exist. So, for the actual compressive stress. So, bale, actual compressive stress, tinata, uh, tinutukoy nyo dyan, is allowable. Refer to the table below. So, binigay yung table. Ito yan. That's the allowable 
compressive stress for compression members uh this is in uh for 248 mpa specified yield stress so you have here the corresponding kl over r and and your corresponding fa nya allowable stress as compressive stress so bali we need to solve for the kl over r then hahanapin natin dito yung kanyang um uh, uh, allowable stress Alright, so we need to solve for KL over R. Dapat critical slenderness ratio. So, dalawa yung kukunin natin dito. Hindi pa natin alam ano yung mag -ga -ga if, if, if It is the uh, SRX along the y uh, along the x-axis or buckling about the x-axis. Or it's, it can be the buckling about the y-axis. So, SRX tayo. Check natin yung SRX. So, Lahat ng yan is naka-subscript X. KX, LX, so walang uh, bracing about the X axis. So, yung LX natin is automat automatically the total length 6 meters. RX, that's given. KX is 1.2. Yung L natin, ginawa natin siyang 6,000 millimeter over RX. 65.46 then we need to check the uh, slenderness ratio about the y so subscript y yan hat basically dalawa yan dalawa yung ating sry ito or dito but since nagbigay siya ng k isang value ng k kahit isa lang yung i-check natin the same na naman sila ng length dito 3 meters and 3 meters dito sa baba Da? Walang binigay kasi na K, uh, mag, uh, magkaiba yung case ng dalawa. Yung K dito sa taas and yung K. Depende yan sa condition sa support. Anyway, binigay siya. Isa lang. So, automatic tayo. K is 1.0. Yung L natin is 3 uh, supported LED. Da? Ito yung supported LED natin, 3 meters or 3,000 millimeter. Yung ating RY is 51. Okay, so yung pipiliin natin critical slenderness ratio is yung malaki. The maximum slenderness ratio, 65.46. After that, titignan natin yung table. Saan banda yung 65.46? Dito yan. KL over R. So, 65. Si 65 and dito. But 65.46 yun exactly. So, in between 65 to 66 tayo. In between 65. So, if 65 yung KL over R, we have 116.83. If 66 yung KL over R, ito yung ating F sub A. Gagawin natin linear regression. Okay? So, in between 65 and 66 yung KL over R natin, we have the corresponding F A. Again, kinuha natin yan dito ha. 65 and 66. Ito yung ibibigay na table. Okay, so gagawin natin mode 3, 2 or mode statistics. Okay. Input natin yan. 65 and uh, 116.83, 66 and 116.13. So yung FA natin is equal to 65.46, that one K, the exact KL over R, Y hat. Y hat, and that is... 116.51 megapascal. Okay? So, nasa mode 3 to yan. Paano ba yan gawin? Kita natin using our calcium. Alright. Ito. <clears throat> Palitan natin ang logo natin. So, by the way, I am a instructor of Bilisanya Engineering Review and Training Center, no? So, i-plug na lang din natin kung gusto nyo mag-enroll. And, pwede kayong mag-message sa ating uh, page. G-E-R-T-C page. Okay, mode 3, 2. So, input natin, 65 and 66. Then, you have here, 116.83. And 116.13. Then, CA, ups, regression yan. 
regression is 8. Then y hat. So, ilalagay natin dito. Ang ibig sabihin dito is ano yung value ng fa or yung y if the x or yung ating kl over r, slenderness ratio is 65.46. That's uh, 116.51 megapascal. <clears throat> okay. So, part 2. The answer here is letter B. Part 2 tayo. If an axial load uh, 160 kN applied 250 millimeters from the centroidal X axis. So for the maximum flexural stress. Applied from the X axis now. Applied from the x-axis. So, yung measurement natin is perpendicular sa x-axis. Dito yan. So, assuming along the y tayo. Wala naman kasi siyang binanggit. So, assuming along the y-axis. And a uh, distance siya from the x-axis is 200 megapascal. So, it will buckle. Or it will bend about the x-axis, obviously. No? Kung andito yung ating x-axis in 3D. Andito si P. Apply. Lumagpas yan, no? 255 lang yan. This is 250. Lalagpas talaga yan dito sa ating planche. So, imagination natin dito, it will buckle like this. Or it will bend like this. Or that's buckling about the x-axis. No? Kasi off-centered siya. So, MC over I lang ito, no? Flexural stress. That's MC over I. So, that's uh, specifically moment about the x-axis. Tawagin natin siyang mx. So, yung moment about the x-axis, eto, that is p times 250. p times e. Yung p is 160 kN. Yung e natin is 250 millimeters or 0 0.25 meters. That's 40 kN there. Then, the bending, that's bending about the x-axis, is mc over i. Since it is bending about the x-axis, kaya mx and ix yung subscript ko dyan. So, the moment is 40 kN meter, or 40 times 10 raised to 6. Yung c natin, yung c is ito, kalahati ng 255. Okay? Kalahati ng 255. Yung ating ix is... 103 times 10 raised to 6 and that is 49.51 megapascal. Letter B. And part three. Using the interaction equation. Actually, dapat term dyan is interaction criterion, not equation. Using the interaction criterion dapat. Anyway. FA over capital FA, FB over capital FB shall be less than or equal to 1.0. Find the maximum value of P that can be applied at an eccentric, uh, eccentricity of 250 mm. Same plan dito sa part 2. Uh, about the centroidal x-axis, use FA 75 and FB 148 megapascal. Wala yung problema. Itong dalawa, ito yung in terms of P. Kasi basta combined axial and bending na, um, interaction criteria yun yung ating magiging uh, basis sa pagkuhan ng allowable. Okay, FA, itong small F sub A, that is just the force over area. Okay, so if we set P as kilonewtons, so that should be multiplied by 1,000. So magiging newtons to kumbaga sa taas. Yung area natin is area of this section. And that is 8550. Evaluating 1000 over 8550. That's 20 over 171 in terms of P tayo. And the F sub B. Okay. That's bending about. Take note. Bending or buckling about the X axis. So FBX, MX, and IX. Yung C natin is ito. Alright. What is MX? A take note, mx is p times 250. Adat natin. Ito yung mx, p times 250. Or 0 0.25 meters times p. 
So, I set this one as P as kilonewtons, ha? Para consistent tayo. Kilonewtons and kilonewtons to dito sa baba. So, 0.25 meters times P na kilonewtons. Times 10 raised to 6 tayo para maging, um, ano to? Uh, kilonewton, uh, newton millimeter yung output nito lahat. Times 10 raised to 6. Again, yung C natin is 255 over 2. And yung IX is 103 times 10 raised to 6. So, evaluating this one, itong mga constant, multiply natin. That's 255 over 824 in terms of P. Tayo. And using this uh, criterion, FA is ito. Alright, FA over F sub A. F sub A is 75. Plus, yung FB natin is 255 over 824 in terms of P. Over F sub B na 148 shall be less than or equal to 1.0. So, makukuha natin dito, P is less than a value. Or we call that maximum P allowed. 273.94. That's letter C. Okay, so that is for this situation.